Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to scrape BBC News articles using our API in just a few minutes. If you're into gathering news data or just wanna analyze trends from one of the world's biggest news outlets, this is gonna be a game changer for you. So let's talk about the BBC for a second. If you're not familiar, BBC is one of the most trusted news sources out there. Let's get started. First, head over to taskagi.net and either log in or create a new account if you haven't already. Once you're in, look for the CNN News Scraper in the list of available tools. This scraper gives you the power to pull detailed news data from CNN directly, including headlines, authors, full content, and more. Before you start scraping, you'll need to generate an API key from your dashboard. Once you've got that key, be sure to save it somewhere secure, because you'll only see it once. If you lose it, you'll have to generate a new one but it's easier to just keep track of it from the get-go. Now for the fun part, let's dive into how to use this API. I'll be showing you how to do this using Postman, but feel free to use any API testing tool you're comfortable with. Start by opening a new post request and use the CNN scraper endpoint from task AGI as the URL I'll leave a link in the video description for easy access. In the headers, you'll need to set content type to application JSON and authorization to bearer followed by your API key. Now for the body of the request, all you need to do is provide the URL of the CNN article you want to scrape. Let's say you want to pull an article about President Biden's political career. Just drop in that URL and hit send. The scraper will get to work pulling back everything you need in just a few seconds. So what can you expect to pull from CNN articles? Let me break it down for you. With our CNN scraper, you'll receive key details from each news article, like the author's name, the article's headline, and the publication date. You'll also get the full content of the article, which is perfect for anyone doing content analysis or looking to compile a detailed news feed. But that's not all. The scraper will also pull any topics or categories related to the article, such as politics or global events, helping you sort and analyze the data more efficiently. If the article has been updated, you'll get that info too. Super useful if you're tracking developing stories. And if the article includes multimedia, you'll get the links to videos or images featured in the content. For example, if there's a video where a CNN correspondent explains Biden's political strategy, you'll have that link ready for review. Plus, the scraper retrieves related articles, which is incredibly useful if you want to explore other pieces connected to the topic you're scraping. You can use this to build a comprehensive news archive or simply keep up with trending topics. Our API is also available on Rapid API. If that's your preferred platform, just search for CNN News Scraper on Rapid and find the one created by us. The link is also available in the description. Once you've found it, go ahead and subscribe to Free Plan that'll give you a few credits for testing at no cost. Now, once you're back to the playground, simply click on Test Endpoint button. You can change the parameters, but they're already set for you, so you don't have to worry about that. An extensive API documentation is a label in the overview page, and on the left section you can see various endpoints for different tasks. Rapid also provides code snippets in various languages, which can be really helpful if you're integrating the scraper into your own applications. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you that if you need something more custom built or have specific data requirements, we offer tailored scraping solutions as well. Whether you're dealing with large-scale projects or have unique scraping needs, our platform is designed to handle it. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments below. And if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. Happy scraping!